With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we need to solve the equation x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x minus 21 is equal to 0 and the sum of 2 of its root is equal to 0. The sum of 2 of roots being 0. Right? So, let alpha, beta, gamma and delta be the 4 roots. Be the 4 roots because it is a biquadratic equation. So, it will have 4 roots. So, let these be the 4 roots. It is given that alpha plus beta, the sum of any two roots, let us say alpha and beta, is equal to 0. Right? So, we know for a biquadratic equation or any equation for that matter, the sum of all the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta would be equal to the coefficient of x cube divided by a. Right? So, this will be minus 2 divided by 1. Right? So, this will be equal to minus of minus 2 actually minus b by a. Right? So, this is minus of minus 2. So, that will be simply equal to 2. Now, since alpha plus beta is equal to 0, this implies that gamma plus delta is equal to 2. Right? So, let us call this equation number 1 and this equation number 2. Now, let alpha beta, the product of the first two roots, be equal to some constant p. Right? And the product of the other two roots, gamma delta, let that be equal to some other constant q. So, now what we can do is, we have the sum of alpha and beta, we have the product of alpha beta. We have the sum of gamma delta and we have the product of gamma delta. So, what we can do now is actually form two quadratic equations, right? So, let us form the two quadratic equations. The equation with roots alpha and beta would be a quadratic equation and that would look something like this. x squared minus the sum of roots into x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0, right? And similarly, we will find the other equation also. So, let us first solve this a bit further. So, x squared minus, we know what the sum of roots is, that is simply 0. And the product of the roots, alpha, beta, that we assumed is equal to p. So, that is plus p is equal to 0. So, this is one of our quadratic equations. Let us call this equation number 3. This equation will be a factor of our equation, the biquadratic equation. The other quadratic equation is the equation with roots gamma and delta will be x squared minus the sum of roots into x plus the product of the two roots gamma delta this should be equal to zero. now we know what this sum and what this product is gamma plus delta is equal to 2 we just found out so minus 2x plus gamma delta is equal to q we assumed so this is equal to 0 so these are the two quadratic equations whose product will give us the required equation, right? Let us call this one equation number 4. Now, what we'll do is we'll multiply equation 3 and 4. So, we'll have x squared plus p multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus q is equal to 0. This will also be equal to our given equation. So, that was x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed and then it was plus 4x squared, plus 6x, and minus 21. So, now what we can do is we can compare, right? So, let us first expand it in the left hand side. We will have x squared into x squared. So, that will be x to the power 4. x to the power 4. Then we have minus 2x cubed. And then we will have plus qx squared. Then we will have plus px squared. Minus 2xp. And then plus pq. This will be equal to our given equation x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x minus 21. Right? Now what we can do is we can compare the like terms. Before that we will like to simplify this on the left hand side a little. So that we have minus 2x cubed and then we will have plus the coefficient of x squared will be p plus q into x squared and the coefficient of x will be minus 2xp and pq would be our constant term. This is equal to x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed plus 4x plus 4x squared plus 6x minus 21. Now we can compare the coefficients of the different powers of x. Comparing 
coefficients of x right the different powers of x we can write different powers so the coefficient of x to the power 4 on the left hand side and right hand side is the same for x cube it is also same minus 2 for x squared we will have that p plus q should be equal to the coefficient on the right hand side so that will be equal to 4 similarly for the coefficient of x we have minus 2p on the left hand side this should be equal to the one on the right hand side so that will be equal to 6 and also the constant term pq pq should be equal to the constant term on the right so that will be equal to minus 21 so the second equation directly gives us the value of p to be equal to minus 3 so if p is equal to minus 3 we have q is equal to minus 3 uh, goes to the other side so that will be 7 as we can see this also satisfied the third equation now with these values of p and q we can get our quadratic equations the two quadratic equations that is equation number 3 and equation number 4 so now we can write therefore equation 3 becomes equation 3 becomes it was x squared plus p right so x squared plus p will be x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 so x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 this will be our first quadratic equation and similarly equation 4 becomes equation 4 was equation 4 was x squared minus 2x plus q so this will become x squared minus 2x plus q so that is plus 7 is equal to 0 so these are the two quadratic equations the quadratic equation of equation number 3 has the roots plus minus under root of 3 clearly x is equal to plus minus under root of 3 and from this we have to just calculate the uh, value of x using the quadratic formula that is x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b squared by 2a so let us directly write minus b would be plus 2 plus minus under root of b squared would be 4 minus 4 into a into c divided by 2a so, so this will be equal to this implies x is equal to 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 4 into 7 so it will be 4 into 6 so that is 24 24 so minus 24 divided by 2 so 24 we can take a 4 out of that so that will give us 1 plus minus if we take a 4 that will give us a 2 here so that cancels out so we have under root of minus 8 in the uh, sorry minus 6 because 6 4s are 28 24 so we have this so this is also equal to 1 plus minus square root of 6 into i so x has these two values also so we have finally the four values of x x is equal to plus minus root 3 and x is equal to 1 plus root 6i and 1 minus 6 uh, root 6i so therefore the roots of the given equation equation are we'll have root 3 then minus root 3 and then 1 plus root 6i and 1 minus root 6i so these are the four values, uh, the four roots of the given biquadratic equation. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.